Should I buy Quick Heal Total Security? Is Quick Heal strong enough to protect me? If you have watched the intro of this video, then you can just imagine what I gonna do in this video. Actually, I was checking results of every test and I just found that Quick Heal Total Security got top results. So I thought, why don't I test Quick Heal Total Security by myself? And how can I forget to invite you guys? So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let's open Google Total Security. This is the interface of Google Total Security and I am not impressed that much before because it's too much simple. I think it should be a little more informative and little more eye-catching. And they are also providing PC tuner. Function of PC tuner is same as CCleaner. So if you have installed the PC tuner, uh, sorry, Google Total Security, then you don't have to install CCleaner. Let's see what we have here. They are providing full system scan, custom scan, memory scan, boot time scan. Actually, boot time scan becomes helpful when you are infected with boot kit or root kit. And volumetric scan. And I have never seen mobile scan feature in any other total security products. Let's take a look at files and folders. Virus protection. I think this is real time protection. Advanced DNS scan suspicious packet of files i think they are talking about archives rogueware scan rogueware means some kind of hack antivirus softwares anti keyloggers and if you don't know what is anti keyloggers uh, key viruses worms trojans then check out my old video i just made few days ago video about what is malware and what is types of malware let's get back to menu here they are providing firewall production, browsing production, malware production. Let's update this antivirus software. Update is completed. Let's take a look at resource users. This is task manager. If you are not familiar with task manager, then check out my old video about how to use task manager i have mentioned all the information about task manager in that video here is quickill scanner it's currently using around 203 mb i think this is little more high uses but if you have fast computer then it's not a big deal let's start with web presentation i have a total 22 urls let's try this one this is going to be my first url this is taking too much time let's move on to next one i think this link is dead let's try next one this is blocked by equal let's try this one I think this is also dead. Let's move on to another one. I will do it in another tab. This is blocked. Let's try next one. This is also blocked as well. Let's try this one. Let's close it. Let's try this one. This is dead. Let's try this one. This is dot dat file. This is exe file. Download link. This is this downloaded something. That means Google failed to block one link. Let me note this here one link let's try this one this is a little long url but that's not a problem 
sorry it is also blocked this is what i expect from qql total security this is also blocked this is also caught by qql Let's try this one. This is blocked. Let's try this one. This is just blocking next and next. It is also successfully blocked. Let's try this one. It is just blocking all the URLs except one. It is little long URL, and it will failed to block this URL. Let me note this. It failed to block two URLs. Let's try this one. This is blocked up. Let's try this one. This is from UK. This is also blocked up from UK. Let's try this one. This is also blocked up. Let's try this one. This is the last URL. Test and go. I think Qquil did excellent means excellent means excellent job in web presentation test. Let's calculate this. It got ninety point ninety one percent. URL detection rate is ninety point ninety one percent. Let's delete these two malwares. Let's turn off real life production of Google. Let's turn it off. I think 15 minutes will be enough. It's turned on. Let's extract these files. I just grabbed all of these malwares just one day ago. Let's do right click scan. Kill start scanning. It just scanned one file. It is also showing me details about archives, threads, DNA scans, boot prevention viruses, file repaired, file deleted, etc. It just found seven malwares. It's also repairing along with detecting detecting threats. It found twenty two malware. Let's see here. This is download location and files. Twenty-two malware pounds. Let's calculate this. You kill about twenty-two malwares, and I had twenty-five malwares. Detection detection rate is eighty-eight percent. Let me note this.
Let's try our secondary scan. I will scan with malware bite. It's doing pre scan. It will take few seconds. I think I think this will not take that much long. It just started scanning our file and it found three malwares. Let's see what I think about Quickil. Detection of Quickil is 88% and web prevention is 90.91%. I think this is not a bad job. I think you should use Quickil Roller Security and it's improved a little bit than before. And our tests and CR. And now it's time to beg for likes and subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a big thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, then don't forget to give me dislikes. And of course, share this video with your friends. So your friends can also watch this boring video. And if you don't want to miss any of my new pathetic videos, then just click on this red button. Just, just click on this subscribe button. Just sit down on this subscribe button. Just click this subscribe button just sit down in the subscribe button and then you will see this gear this icon simply click on this icon and just enable this option send me all notification for this channel then just click on save and let me know what you think about this video and if you have any questions and suggestions then write down below in these comments thanks for wasting your time we will meet again in my next one